on September 10th, Milwaukee had episode two of their pipeline event, which is NPS, or their new product symposium for 2020. I've taken some time, I've looked over the offerings. There are a few that I am super excited about, and there are a couple that I'm not so fired up about. So get ready, we're gonna be talking all about it. You're gonna to wanna to put your safety glasses on. This is gonna get messy. Let's start at the top with the pack out offerings. I am very excited for a couple of them. I will tell you though, the ones that I'm most excited about, you're gonna be a little shocked. But this is their two-wheeled cart. This has been specifically designed to easily transfer tools and equipment on and off the job site. The packout cart has integrated packout mounts on the base and frame to securely stack or hang packout solutions capable of carrying anything from water heaters to a plethora of job site materials. The cart has a 400 pound weight capacity and two 10 inch industrial flat free wheels. Additionally, with its compact width, this cart can easily fit through doorways during transportation of these materials. What's great about this, it has that integrated mounting system. So. If you had, like me, your larger tools in the largest bottom box with wheels, but you had your other solutions maybe in that medium box or the large box without wheels, you can now throw them on your dolly. I've been waiting for this dolly. I've been using a competitor's dolly and I've stuck with that system because of this this one solution. We didn't have the availability in Packout, we now do. I will tell everybody this though. One of the downfalls with this dolly, you still don't have an independent way to mount boxes. You're not going to have multiple boxes accessible on this solution. You're only going to have a maximum of two independent solutions. Otherwise, you're going to have to stack box on top of box. And that has been a downfall of Packout is that you cannot get into your boxes once they're stacked until now. The Dolly is product number 48-22-8410 and it has a price tag, an MSRP, so to speak, of $199. Let's move on to another one of my favorites, the two and three drawer toolboxes. These new toolboxes are gonna allow you to have stacks of boxes and potentially get your tools in and out without having to unstack those boxes. These are gonna work perfectly with the existing pack out dolly. What's great about having two and three drawer units is that both of them will have organization. You're gonna have deeper or taller drawers with the two drawer unit. You're gonna have those removable dividers, it looks as though. The three drawer unit is gonna give you more drawers, obviously, they're not gonna be as deep. Here's the thing, both units are the same height, depth, and width. So each unit, whether it's the two drawer or three drawer toolbox, has a total weight capacity of 50 pounds. My favorite part about this is that it's gonna have a locking security bar that will come up and lock in at the top to hold those drawers shut. You can use a padlock with that to secure your tools or parts with the locking security bar. They're using all metal ball bearing slides and metal reinforced corners for the ultimate job site durability. Both boxes feature quick adjust dividers so you can customize your layout. Like I said, you could have compartments for small parts or you could put in larger tools. The two drawer toolbox has a part number of 48-22-8442 with a price of $134.99 MSRP. The three drawer toolbox, I guess because it has a few more parts to it, is $149.99 with a part number of 48 22 Dash 8443. Let's move on to the Packout Customizable Worktop. 
Product number here is 48-22-8488. Milwaukee tells us that the Packout customizable worktop features a fastener-ready design, allowing users to attach voices, chargers, and a variety of other items to the top of their Packout stack. The Packout customizable worktop is constructed with a 50 pound weight capacity, impact resistant polymers, and a half inch marine grade wood top that provides users with a durable work surface for assembly and writing tasks. Here's the deal. Out of everything that was announced on September 10th, when this customizable worktop for Packout was announced, I looked at it and I said, for this really to really capture me, it's got to have the right price point. This is the thing. Packout itself, when it comes to width, width and depth, it's got a very small footprint. So we're really not going to be able to make any type of large assemblies on there. We're looking at photos here where they have voice, like a voice attached to this. And if you're putting something in a voice, that means you really need to hold it steady and wrench down on it. Number one, like if you're really wrenching down on something that's, you know, in a vice on top of your pack out, you're, you're probably going to knock your pack out over or it's going to be lifting up off the ground. I understand this voice is going to be attached to a piece of wood, but the attachment points are still plastic. How much wrenching down on this vice are you going to do before you break the pack out worktop? and or the clips that are on the box below it. I, I just not feeling this one. I think that it would serve better as a roiding surface, okay? And not necessarily a, a worktop. Let me know down in the comment section below if you think that this would make a good worktop and how you plan on using it. Well, I wanna know your thoughts what you were thinking when you saw this release, or if you're seeing it now for the first time, what do you think of this? This was the kicker for me. I will tell you, I wasn't shocked, but I was a little disappointed to find out that the customizable worktop has a price of $49.99. You let me know down in the comments how you, how you feel about the price. Let's move on to the Packout Racking Kit. It's product number 48-22-8480. The Packout Racking Kit includes two Packout Racking Shelves, two 20-inch lengths of vertical E-Track. The Packout Racking Kit provides users versatile mounting options to attach and mount their racking shelves to a, a wide variety of surfaces, including work vans, trucks, trailers, garages, shops, and more. These tool storage racks provide a 50 pound weight capacity per shelf with a metal reinforced frame and impact resistant body to build out their pack out system. To be used with this is the pack out racking shelf. That's product number 48228481. Here's the deal. The racking kit includes two shelves. If you wanted additional shelves, you'd use the racking shelf. You'd be able to purchase the racking shelf on its own. Thing is, with 20 inches of standards or the vertical E-Track, you, you really don't have much capacity for more than two, maybe three racking shelves. Here's the big letdown about it. I can understand the cost of these items because they need to have these shelves and pretty much mounting plates. The thing is, is that they do indeed cost more. The racking kit is going to run you $129.99. That comes with two shelves and it comes with the E-Track, two of them, 20 inches in length. The shelf itself is $49.99 per shelf. So we could see the breakdown. Two shelves cost you a hundred bucks. That leaves over 30 bucks or 15 bucks per E-Track is the breakdown. It's just an expensive solution for, for storing your, your pack out. It is what it is. I mean, me personally, I'd rather spend that $129 and buy another two-wheeled base to store my, my pack out on. I don't know, bungee cord it inside the truck, that's what I do. If you're already in the trades, you're, you're a carpenter or you know how to build cabinetry or shelvings systems and you have the free time, 
Maybe you put that $130 into buying some, you know, MDF or, or Melamy or something. These two offerings, the price tag seems a little high. I understand why it costs what it costs. There's no other way to have a shelving system that would lock in. It just is what it is. Let's move on. This new pack out offering really sucks. No, really, it sucks. It's the M18 Fuel Packout two and a half gallon wet dry vacuum. It's product number 0970-20. This one will launch, I mean literally, like right now it's launching, October 2020. All right, we have a couple of weeks to go. I have a lot of experience with Milwaukee's vacuum cleaners. That's why with Packout integration, this is even better. I know the vacuum is gonna be great, but now it's combined two great tools from Milwaukee Tool. Milwaukee says it's proud to introduce the most powerful small capacity 18 volt wet dry vacuum. Fully compatible with the Packout modular storage system, the M18 Fuel Packout two and a half gallon wet dry vacuum delivers up to 60% more suction. See, it really does suck. Than other 18 volt wet dry vacuums, giving users the performance and power they need to quickly clean up a wide range of materials. Pretty cool. Goes on to say when equipped with the M18 red lithium high output 8.0 battery pack, the vacuum can run up to 30 minutes in high mode and over 50 minutes in low mode. Through an intuitive and quick attachment mechanism, the M18 fuel pack out vacuum is designed to be easily accessible when stacked on top of or within an existing pack out modular storage system. For ease of use, the vacuum can be used both on and off the pack out stack, making it the most portable and versatile wet dry cleanup solution available. At only 87 decibels, the M18 fuel pack out vacuum is up to two times quieter than traditional wet dry vacuums, making it an ideal cleanup solution in occupied space when noise is a concern. The vacuum comes with an included HEPA filter for optimal dust and micro particle collection. This HEPA filter is washable and compatible with all three Milwaukee wet dry vacuums. A vacuum power tool adapter is included as well for efficient dust collection from other power tools. Cool. In case you really nerd out like I do on this stuff, air volume is 50 cubic feet per minute. Sealed suction in water is 47 inches. Sound power level is 87 decibels. Canister capacity, two and a half gallons. Inlet diameter is an inch and a quarter. Height is 12.8 inches. Length is 17.1 inches. Width is 10.5. Weight is 11.3 pounds. And it comes with a five year tool warranty. And it's got a price of $199. Let's move on. This is one that got no coverage during episode two of the pipeline. And this is the one I think I'm most excited about. This is unbelievable. It's the M18 Packout Light Charger. It's product number 2357-20. Milwaukee says it delivers 3,000 lumens of TrueView high definition output to easily light the site. For complete control of lighting preference, the light is equipped with three independent rotating lights. So all three of those lights that come out from this pack out light, you can direct them to where you need them. It's 3000 lumens, that's a lot of lighting. To easily manage output and runtime, the light is complete with nine total modes. All lights, main panel or back front lights, each including high, medium, and low settings. For ease of use, the light features a dual power feature, so you're able to plug this into the wall. You can run it on battery, but if it's plugged into the wall while you have a battery in it, it will charge your batteries as well. Pretty awesome. In addition, the M18 Packout light charger features a storage compartment and 2.1 amp USB port. You, you wish maybe it had multiple ports, but it, it seems to have one. For device charging and storage of small items. When equipped with the M18 Red Lithium XC 5.0 battery pack, the light charger provides users with up to 31 hours of runtime. Wow, that's a lot of runtime. I will tell you this much, we have one here. This is the Milwaukee M18 Rocket Light. I believe this came with a, a five amp hour battery when I got them. I, I will tell you that this Rocket Light is 2000 lumens. It used to run six or seven hours 
on a five amp hour battery, which used to bum me out because a normal shift was eight hours until the nine amp hour battery hit the scene. And then we will be able to make it through a full eight hour shift. The new Packout light offers an additional thousand lumen and it runs 31 hours. Through an intuitive and quick attachment mechanism, the M18 Packout light charger is designed to be easily accessible when stacked on top or within an existing Packout modular storage system. The light charger can be used both on and off Packout. So, similarly to the vacuum cleaner, you will be able to access the light functions, the function buttons, and the heads. So you're able to use this light no matter where it is on a stack or in the stack. I will say this though, make sure that the light charger is stacked to the left of your stack. For increased durability, the light charger is IP54 rated. So here we go, we, we, ha we have the run times. Lumens for all lights at high are 3000. Medium, 1500 lumens, and low, 1000 lumens. Run time, all lights on high with that 3000 lumens is four. Medium is eight and low is 12. So how they're arriving at that 31 hour rating, it would seem to me, I'm gonna need more clarification, but it would be a single head on low with a five amp hour battery. Weight, crazy, it's like almost the same as the vacuum. 11.4 pounds, the dimensions are 16.9 inches by 9.8 inches by 8.7 inches. Pretty cool. What is also pretty cool is the price, actually. I think this is, is a fair asking price at $199. I think this is a really good option, a really good price. This is the thing. How do they do so well <laughs> for, for a light charger? Okay, but they want 50 bucks for a piece of plastic and a piece of melamine, like it's a, you know, marine grade plywood, like 50 bucks for that top. Like, like here's the thing, would four of those tops ever give you this, like the same amount of value as this light charger? Like, I, I don't, I don't understand how they arrive at the pricing. I'm stuck, I'm kind of stuck on that, that top, but this is priced great in my opinion. Let's move on to some of my favorite offerings from NPS for 2020 or Pipeline Episode 2. It's the M12 Green 360 degree three plane laser. It's product number 3632-21. Here's the deal, it runs on an M12 battery. Say no more. I'm already on the M12 platform. I constantly have M12 batteries with me. Like this is, makes perfect sense. I want this, I'm getting this. They also are offering an M12 green cross line and plum points laser. The M12 green 360 degree three plane laser and the green cross and plum points laser provide all day run time and best visibility in their class utilizing M12 red lithium batteries. Users can get 15 plus hours of continuous run time. The brightest green lasers offer users superior visibility up to 125 feet for long range productivity and additionally achieve up to 165 foot of range with a laser detector. Setting up lasers for layout or installation applications is often tedious and time consuming. For fast versatile setup, all these lasers feature micro control adjustments that pivot on point, delivering precise control and faster point to point alignment. Amplified rare earth magnets provide a secure hold and ensure the laser won't slide, allowing users to set up anywhere. Each is impact rated for drops up to a meter and IP54 rated for durability and protection from harsh job site conditions. These lasers join the M12 cordless system, the largest subcompact system on the market currently made up of more than 100 solutions. So they have a working range of 125 feet, Range with detector, 165 feet. Accuracy is plus or minus one eighth of an inch at 33 feet. Thread mounts quarter 20 and 5 eighths 11. Locking pendulum is yes. Self-leveling, plus or minus four degrees tilt. This is a class two laser. The kits include M12 green 360 degree three plane laser, an M12 four amp hour battery, XC, a charger, a laser target, and a carrying case. Note, carrying case includes dedicated locations for add-on accessories, including the track clip, 360 degree bracket, laser detector, and clamp, and an additional M12 battery. 
pretty cool. The M12 Crossline and Plum Points Laser Kit, which is 3622-21, has a working range, uh, once again, of 125 feet, with detector 165 feet. Accuracy is also 1 8 of an inch at 33 degrees. Thread mounts are the same. Plum Point Access, 2 inches. Locking Pendulum is yes. Self-leveling, plus or minus 4 degrees tilt it's also ip54 rated impact rating is one meter class 2 laser that kit will include a 3.0 cp battery or a cp 3.0 a charger a laser target and a carrying case the carrying case has those additional locations within it both of these lasers have a bare tool option that bare tool option should mean that it just doesn't come with the battery or the charger. It should still come with the other accessories. The three plane laser kit price is $599. It seems as though it's only being offered as a kit. The product numbers for the green cross line and plum point lasers. The kit is 3622-21. The kit price is $499. If you wanted just a bare tool, that's product number 3622-20. Bare tool is $399. So it's a $100 savings. They also announced a whole bunch of USB rechargeable lasers. Three of them. The USB rechargeable lasers use Milwaukee's personal lighting and their heated glove USB rechargeable battery platform. Their Plum Points laser, product number 3522-21 says, it has the highest intensity laser beams, allows users to see green laser lines and plum points up to 100 foot for fast and accurate leveling and alignment. The integrated magnetic bracket features a micro control that pivots on point, giving users faster setup and point to point alignment at long distances. This green line laser with plum points features amplified rare earth magnets to provide a strong hold on the metal surfaces with integrated screw and nail hang holes that make setup easy and efficient in any environment. It has a price of $349. The USB rechargeable green cross line laser, product number 3521-21, also has a 100 foot visibility, a magnetic bracket, and microcontrol. Its price, $299. And then finally, the USB rechargeable green three-point laser. Product number 3510-21. Once again, visibility up to 100 foot. The integrated adjustable clearance bracket enables this three-point laser level to easily fit over steel stud, track, or create clearance for marking the floor. This green laser level features amplified rare earth magnets, providing a strong hold on the metal surfaces. The integrated screw and nail hang holes allow easy and efficient setup in any environment. Cost of it is $249. There's additional brackets and track clips that are for sale. The 360 degree laser brackets, product number 4835. 1311, it costs $59.99. And the laser track clip, product number 48351313, is $24.99. And if you needed additional laser targets for crew members, you have the SKU for responsive laser alignment target. It's product number 48351111. Each one of those will cost you $14.99. Responsive laser alignment target provides the fastest, most visible alignment feedback when setting lasers with a point on the floor or checking an offset. The X design provides responsive centering feedback that guides the user's line to the center, making the alignment process faster, while high visibility illumination makes it easy to see. This Laser X target also features a wide magnetic base that's perfect for floor use or magnetic attaching to ferrous surfaces. Here's the thing responsive. I don't know why they use that word, but maybe you could let us know down below. Also, let us know down below which one of these Milwaukee offerings are you going to be getting first. We know you're going to be getting at least one. We want to know which one it is. Which Milwaukee offering are you not getting at all? You wouldn't even consider. We want to know.
Leave them all below. Also, if you appreciate the content, make sure you smash that like button. It's not like smashing a mirror anywhere else. Here on YouTube, you actually get seven years of good luck. Why wouldn't you do it? With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. And when I say next one, I mean the next NPS event because it's going down. October 15th is the next Pipeline event. Hashtag VCG Pipeline Party. Tap the bell, don't miss it. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, Watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.